Hey, you should be aware that Tubbs received this product for free. Hey, thanks for checking in on Bathtub, sir. And I am currently in the tub with Ashen. Now, if you were hoping for a Christmas themed in the tub with, seeing as it is Christmas Eve, I'm very sorry. I'm about to sorely disappoint you. I don't think this game could be further away from Christmas than if we tried. There was just nothing Christmas themes that stood out to me on the store, so I didn't want to make a Christmas video for the sake of it. Instead, I thought we could look at a potentially very exciting game. Now, Ashen was released on the 7th of December 2018, and once again, as you may have guessed, it is an Epic Store exclusive, at least for the month of December. And once again, as being part of the Support Creator program, this game was provided for free by Epic, so thank you very much for that, and bear that in mind for this video. Now, it's priced at £35.99, and it's developed by a studio from New Zealand called A44, and it's their first game. So, Ashen, I mean, now, I hate to use this comparison straight off the bat, but I really think it's a decent comparative metric these days. It's a Souls-like. It's meant to be like Dark Souls. It's low poly with a strange graphic style, uh, big, tough enemies, and basically, the combat is tough, death is frequent, and things like that. Now, the basic gist of it, I think, is that you're a wanderer trying to find a home. And quite a unique twist on this is that you find people out in the wild and you bring them, or you decide if you want to bring them back to your camp or not. Now, that's all just, uh, I'm not completely 100% on that info, but that's what I've uh, picked up from the very brief little tidbits I've read about Ashen. So let's jump in and see if we enjoy this game. New game, please. Now, it says status online in the bottom left there, so I wonder if people can join your game like Dark Souls. Holy crap, it is low poly. Now, for a man with no facial features, he seems very calm. Like, I hope you don't show him a mirror, a mirror. But let's have a look then. I mean, he looks pretty cool. Style, feminine or masculine. Oh, wow, you can keep the tash. We'll go with masculine. Just so I can project a little bit here. Be a real man's man. Uh, vagabond. Seer. Okay. An arbitrator. Which seems like a... I think that should be renamed Edgy, right? What have we got? A deer tail. I might go as a rapscallion. It's actually my middle name. Bathtub rapscallion, sir. Oh, firebrand, though. Well, quite like that, actually. Facial hair. Oh, man. I always love to give myself a big old beard because I can't grow one in real life. Oh, I've got a face like a baby's bum. Actually, no, don't. Please don't quote me on that. Um, but it's uh, it's impossible for me to grow a beard, so I really try and live it vicariously through these uh, characters and games. We'll go with this colour-ish hair. Skin colour, I mean, how pale can we get? Because, seriously, the sunlight really hurts me in real life. So let's go with that. Can we give him a name? I don't know if we can. But that's Greg, by the way, in case you're wondering. And Aperna Interactive, they're the publisher, I believe. It's a very beautiful looking eagle, I must say. Or is it Hawk? Among the stars, the ashen fly. Beneath the nine realms move among the tree of worlds many branches. Proudly standing upon the darkness, its roots delving into caverns where light will never venture. It was when a single great ashen flew down to rest upon the boughs that the light woke After eons, the great ashen grew weak with age and fell from the tree of worlds, resting upon the plains of darkness, drawing what few breaths remained. In the throes of death, the light dimmed, and the ashen's final three breaths became the three golden ages of light. The first age, saw three creatures of the Dark Plains rise above all others. The Elder Dark fed upon the light and thrived. The second marked the coming of the Listener Matriarchs, Titans who revered the light. The third breath was the Age of Man, 
Giffen's children. When the final breath ended, there would be a time of darkness. In that black age, the cities of man fell into ruin. Toppled by war and emptied by pestilence and famine. Proud Lathyrus drowned beneath the ash. From dust to flesh, from darkness to radiance, soon the Ashen will be reborn from the ruins of its old body, and a new age of light will begin. I served the Ashen long ago, a guardian to its waning light, even though it broke me with its brilliance. Now, look to the mountain peak, for that is where fresh hope blooms. The Ashen is reborn. Behold! The first glimmer of the light that will sweep the darkness from these planes. Wait, you finished your story? Can we go? Oh, they're huge. So basically, that stupid bird, because it kept breathing, it brought a load, it brought around a load of crap. Is that what happened there? That's what I gathered. It was a beautiful cutscene. I really like the, the how it uh, played with light, but. That damn raven crow hawk thing. Why are you breathing, bird? You brought around tyrants and titans and crap. Uh, sorry, dude. <laughs> no, no. Uh, you can't come with us. No, we don't, we don't like you. We're far too cool for you. Seriously, what is that hanging out your mouth? A pipe? No, don't hang around with smokers, dude. Think I want your secondhand smoke? These lungs are pristine and they're going to stay that way. You better stay there. Dude, go away. I don't know who you think you are. Yeah, we've got the same haircut, that's fine. Uh, yeah, alright, I've got a bit of moustache envy. Did I speak to you, actually? Oh, great person. The cliffs ahead should provide a good vantage point. Beware, the rebirth of the Ashen will be violent. That's fine, we got our trusty club. Oh, I just had a, a mad coughing fit. I literally think it's because of that dude's second-hand pipe smoke. But if you're wondering why the weird jump cut, that's why. But anyway, the game actually looks really beautiful. I'm digging the art style. It looks so, so nice. Sorry, what is that? Come back here, you bulbous backed thing. Wow. I'm a little bit worried about moving towards this. Are you Keep okay? Your mitts off me rock. Keep your mitts off me rock. Lady, I would never touch your rock. You want to go for dinner first somewhere? Catch a cabaret show? And maybe see where the night goes? Okay, what is that over there? Wow. Pick up a broken bone hatchet, an axe of bone, primitive yet brutal. Sure, I will. Uh, I will take it. And then, how do I use it? I wonder. Put it in there. I think that looks better than uh, the club we were using. This is wrapped in the intrigue and mystery. This game, isn't it? Oh, you're bad. Well, there we go. Excuse me, my throat really wants to ruin this episode. <clears throat> there we go, take that throat. What have we got here? A plank shield. Nice, do we lay upon it flat? We'll take it, a solid union of scrap and wood. So then if I put you in there. Oh, what's the one we got at the moment? Um, Scoria. Does it have stats on it? I don't know if it does. Oh, because that's not my shield. Okay, I don't know what the Scoria is. But now we have a shield. I need to just find out how to use it. So that's attack. And right trigger is a heavy attack. And why is jump? Okay. Oh, I'm not going to make that. Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Are we okay? What about Blondie? Thank God, I don't think you made it. Are you going to attack me? An apple cricket? Increases your stamina and generation speed for a short time. Yeah, give me the cricket. What are you, dude? No. What are these weird bunny foxes? Wow, you can hunt. A white uh, sapope instantly heals a moderate amount. Yeah, give me that instant health all day. I'll be roll with B. Okay. 
Now, I didn't quite make the jump, so... What does that mean for our journey here? Probably not to go down the waterfall. So as you can see, this is like a, a very single player focus, but I am wondering if other players can join your game. It'd be interesting if we see anything like that today. But I need to get back up to the top of the mountain here. It looks like falling down there wasn't the biggest uh, problem in the world. Because look, it might have even been more fruitful to fall down here. The controls are messing me up a little bit though. I thought that rock was a chest. Okay. Uh, yeah, another one of them. We'll take it. Heals a moderate amount. Oh, and the thing drowned itself. <laughs> there we go. Is that another enemy? No, that's that same hermit lady. Oh, where's, where's the blonde Bieber dude? I kind of miss him. I don't think he made it. Oh, there he is. That must be him up ahead, waiting for us. You alright, folks? Wow, okay. Nothing more creepy than uh, reciting weird nursery rhymes by the campfire with your face covered. Are you sisters? You both seem like you share the same traits. I think all could be creepy. Now you waiting for us, dude? There are those that thrive in perpetual night and would extinguish these fledgling rays. We must find the ashen and protect it from the elder dark. I guess that serves as our intro into the world of Ashen. Let's go hit some things. Oh, how did that happen? Thank God we're going to land in a pool of water. Oh, it can't have been that deep. <laughs> Are we alright? Oh God, no. It would break your back. What about Bieber? You alright? He's fine. Okay. So this seems like a very interesting little cave. Can't we just live in here? Do we have to find the light? I mean, it's always about the light. Can't we find the darkness once? You know, the early 2000s uh, glam rock band. I believe in a thing called love. Can't we just play one game and we have to find the darkness? Sick of all this light getting uh, hogging the, <laughs> the limelight. <laughs> God, that's bright. What a sight, our world once more bathed in ashen light. You have felt the power of the ashen and survived. We will need that strength of yours. The ashen is still a sleeping child, vulnerable. We must wake it from its slumber. Before we begin our journey, we must bind your spirit to a ritual stone. If misadventure takes you, the stone will act as a beacon from beyond death's veil. There's a ritual stone nearby in the district called Vagrant's Rest, but I will need my hammer and spark to awaken it. You must find them. Now, can you tell us why we must find them? Because what I get from that dialogue is that they're your items, your property. I mean, funny, huge, huge blacksmith. If you lose something, that's your problem. I mean, sure, I get it, you're tiny, we should probably listen to what you say. But still, I'm sick of being an errand boy. An errand boy trying to find light all the time. Money messing, this game is actually pretty wonderful. To start off with, at least. It looks really great. I can't get over how such a simple style is making it look wonderful. I'm really digging it. Can we, who's going to tell us who this guy is? It's getting a little bit awkward now that he's just there. Are you our brother or something? Can we hit you? Open up the map. Okay, hammer and spark. Yeah, sure. The Ashen is yet a sleeping child, so we need to wake it. I mean, is the light going to be... Is the Ashen going to be happy if we wake it? Seriously, if I was the Ashen and I was woken prematurely and I had enough sleep, my God, it would not be a pretty sight. Bartaran's hammer and spark. Most likely the vagrants have them. They're thieves and scavengers. They'll steal anything that's not chained down. 
No, he speaks. Jokel, that's a cool name. Or is it Yokel? We'll go for Jokel. Ah, oh, that's how you draw the shield. Gimme. And what have we got here? Some grass? Yeah, another health item. I'll help you out, Jokel. Good. Good work, dude. Give me a high five. Okay. Press this to equip a consumable. Wait, no. <laughs> Um, I'll put this in there. Oh, it wants me to do the cricket. There you go, but why? Don't want stamina regen. Oh, health in there. Different slots. Cool. And then, how do we use them when we need to? Hold B to sprint. I know, I know. Don't rush me, game. So we need to dodge more attacks. But where, where are the enemies at? Does Jockle see one? Oh, there's one. He's already missing health, that dude. Oh, you bastard. Heavy attack, go. <laughs> There's another one up there. Let's go for it. Well, that does use our stamina, though, so let's be wary. Oh, man, there's a bunch of them, and I think they might all be inbred, because they look the same. Sure, it could be coincidence, but I'm pretty sure these dudes share some of the same chromosomes. There you go. I don't like how Jockle's taking all the all the um, attacks here. I want to do it. Use consumable. Shit, that's the wrong one. There we go. Yeah, Jockle, can you let me do some of the killing, please? I want to be the focus. I really feel like a secondary character at the moment. It's all about all the action. If it's not about the action, then it's about Jockle. Oh, God. Thank I thought that was like, the big fur mane of a huge enemy, but it's not. Yes, we'll take that. We do need all the health items we can get. Oh, who was that? Where did that come from? Oh, it's you! Oh, you sod! How do I... How do I not get hit by that? How do I get up there? Um, okay, let's take this first. Jockle, you got any bright ideas? Oh my god, who are you? Oh no, oh no. Can we jump? We can jump, can't we? Right, Jockle, you handle that person. Come here! Jockle! This is pretty cool. Go, go! No, no, no! Jockle is gonna get me! Come on! Yes. Oh, Jocker, we are the dream team. Hug me out. I don't know what that means. Just hug me is what I mean to say. Hug me out all over this field. Let's frolic in our victory. Right, find his spark. I thought he said find his sack. I don't know where Batran's sack is. It's a pretty huge area, actually. I'm tempted to go exploring, but for the sake of the video, we definitely won't. Must be over here somewhere. We've only got three health items left. I don't think we've done that as... um. Efficiently as we needed to. I also think we need to get back over this way. What a fun game this is. This is the sort of game I wish I'd do a series of. Let me know if you would like to see more of this, guys. As I mentioned in the Hades, um, the Hades episode, is that uh, for games like this last minute that I decide to do a series on, you might not be, get like a personalised thumbnail for it. But there's nothing stopping me just whipping up something quick. Uh, let's search this. Hopefully, get some health for it. Broken Iron Club for cracking up hard case foes. Oh, God! Sod. Thank you, Yoko. Let's equip a two-handed weapon, shall we? I keep pressing the wrong thing, but... Where is it? Oh, there we go. Now, I'm guessing I'll press right. Okay, there we go. That took me far longer than I meant to, but we got there. I don't know if I like two-handed weapons most of the time. It's too slow for me, but we can always give this a go. Up there. Have you got any of that health stuff? Yes. Beautiful. It must be close, I think. It's at the top of this mountain. I think it's uh, an enemy might have it. And I can't even see if they're hiding in these trees, then they will have the ambush on us. Shit. Okay, thank God it hit Jocko or not me. Oh no! Why would you do that, lady? 
Oh, get up there. Oh, chuckle. Jory's falls. No, 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 no. Greg, come on. I can't even see. How about we get off that? Oh, it's just the... Have we just gone right back around to the beginning? Oh, he's there. Okay. Well, this is a bit annoying. We're back. And we're angry. Crap. There we go. Look at that. Now, how do we get up to you? Because you really ruined our day. Oh, my God. Got to take her out first. <laughs> I felt that one. Now, Jockle. Yeah, you got him. I'll finish him off for you. Oh, no. He's still going. Cool. And Jockle does have health, as you can see up there. It's better than ours, so let's take this. What do you got for me? Nice, they're giving us these um, these health items in abundance. And I'm not feeling them too handy, they always suck with it. So like, it is very um, similar to the Dark Souls games, where there seems to be these big sprawling areas of enemies that you fight through. Imagine if we die, we'll start right at that checkpoint. And eventually we may find some sort of bonfire to level up before facing a big boss. That's the sort of pattern we can expect here, I think. Crap. I need to work on my uh, dodging. Thank you for that. That's, there it is, it's just here. Oh, I see you hiding there. Come on, dude. Oh, there's two of them. Back. Sweet. Oh, Jockle has no chill. <laughs> He's a mass murderer. You got first for blood, haven't you? Artifacts added. A better and spark. Nice. Go to the ritual stone. Oh, all the way back here. So we'll cut through the trees. I don't even see you. You got a shield on you. That's different. You got to think. Does it make the game easier by having this NPC companion? I imagine so because they the enemies definitely. Go for a uh, jockle half the time, which is good. Stay away from me. I can't fight for a lot of enemies here. Oh god, did we just get burnt by the fire? I think we put it out. Okay, we'll take one each, jockle. Oh, my stamina. This is really fun. They turn to ash when they die because of the name Ashen. I get it. So we need to drop down here, I think. Oh, is this where we started? I think so. Wow. Oh no, that's the Batarun. God, I thought that's a huge enemy. <laughs> Hello, dude. Give me my hammer so I might awaken this sleeping stone. Take Launch it. The spark to the ritual stone. Bind your spirit to this place. Uh, yeah, what we do just like, do we put, press our cheek against it or our palm? Let's touch it with our face. There we go. Stick your head right in there, Greg. Whoa, back around, what are you doing? It's a rock, not a gong. You'll break your arm with that. Town founded, you have claimed a vagrant's rest. Perfect. And we worked hard to kick out the people that are already here. Oh, there's two things here. Yeah, welcome, Jokul. I mean, we didn't get off on the best of terms, but I, I quite like you now. Sure, I wish you'd stop smoking. Only because I'm worried about your own health. Do you dream? In my sleep, I hear my brother's voice. He once travelled this way with my father. I wasn't with them. Ahu was eldest, so... It was his duty alone. Now he echoes through my slumber, calling to me. Each time is the same. He stands atop an old listener ruin, calling to me. I have found the ruin by the lakeside. Will you help me climb it? Of course, let's do it. New journey active, ash on the wind. Let's go. Uh, where is our map? Right, what way are we facing? So the other way. Come on in. My father and brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I get you to, to come with me? Oh, should we speak to Batarone first? It's probably what he wants. I have searched these foothills and found no sign of the Ashen. 
We must consult Geffen of the Birthing Waters. She will know where to look. Geffen can be found bathing within the Annex of Light. Bridge the waters and strike out for the cliffs. There lies your way in. So you want us to intrude on Geffen having a bath? Not sure if we want to play the peeping tom role. And is this how I level up? No, I don't think it is. Right, um, can I choose which one I want? Yeah, side journeys. Let's go. You better be coming, Jokel. Let's see if we can sprint to there real quick. Not quite sure how we level up then. I thought it would have been hanging out in front of that rock, but that's fine. Is he coming? Um, do I jump across there? No, let's just fall down. Yeah, see, we're out of the safe zone now, but I have no joke all beside me. That's alright, we'll do this on our own. Oh, we must have left you behind. Oh, there's quite a lot, a few people here. Someone did just fire an arrow as well, I think. But we took him out nice and easy. Now, who fired the arrow? You're, oh, you're behind there. Hiding behind the bush. There he is. There's our man. <laughs> Oh, a bit too much information about your dead brother and all that, but I mean, let's go find that spot. This is a fun game indeed. Is this the rings we want to climb? Press A to propose assisted climb. Come on, and get on my shoulders, the last of us style. How about me? An artifact added. Oh, we've got his lockbox. Return to Vagrant's Rest, whatever you say. I mean, that was easy. Almost a little bit too short, you could argue. I wanted to fight something big, just to see if we could uh, hack it to pieces. If we had the skill. Oh, man. There's loads of little nooks and crannies to explore. Whoops. Don't jump on it. Scoria Stash. A small sack containing ancient uh, Lathrian uh, riches. Okay, sure. Sell that for um, gains, I imagine. Why to climb? Okay. Are you bad? Or are you good? I think you're good. No skags about here. Makes for a good place to rest. Oh, you're just a trader, okay. I haven't got time to trade right now. I'm really digging this environment. This is a cool game. The darkness has taken so many. Please, may I have Ahu's lockbox? Of course, Jockle. You can take your brother's lockbox. We don't care about it. It's probably just his old a uh, pawn stash in there. So, this is all that remains of my brother's life. A crimson gourd and a crumbling map. The map may lead me to my father. The crimson gourd, I give to you. Thank you, dude. What's a crimson gourd? Is it like a pumpkin? Touch the spark to the ritual stone, and the crimson sap will flow. The crimson sap is the very lifeblood of the earth, healing and invigorating. If you find me the right materials, I can fortify your gourd at my work table. A fortified gourd can hold more sap. So let's talk of saps and gourds. We've got 15 max health though. Go to his table. Where's that then? Ah, all right, let me touch your table then. We did get your express permission to. Crimson gourd costs 1,600. And I don't know what it does. Does it help us help us heal? I don't know. That's a journey completed. He's got a new thing for us. We'll go find his dead dad, I guess. But I think I'm going to leave it there for Ashen. This game is very interesting. It's fun. I do like it. Pretty cool. I, I kind of wish that we got to play more than half hour. So I'll either play this in my own time, stream it, or make a let's play out of it. Let me, guys, uh, let me know, you guys. That's the sort of words I'm trying to find there. If you enjoyed this video of Ashen, please go ahead and leave a like for me. It does help me in the video out a great deal, so thank you very much for that. If you want to see more, we do In the Tubs with every Monday on the channel, and we live stream three times a week. Every other day, there's a Let's Play on here as well, so there's plenty of content for you to dig into, so please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, also, it's worth noting, because I keep forgetting to say, if you want to buy Ashen, please use my referral link down below, so that Epic will give me a little bit of money for any purchases made through that link. And if you've got any comments you want to raise about this game, anything at all, leave a comment below and I'll make sure I get back to you. Alright, see you.